okay everybody i hope you feel good today i certainly do eleanor from artistarium here bringing another video tutorial just for you today i'm going to show you how to make a simple base for a headpiece what tools to use materials what to think of design ideas etc etc everything that is essential for making a headpiece because I'm sure you have your own ideas after watching all those beautiful pieces circling around the internet for like the last decade at least. Well, I am going to help you with just that. So let's get started. First off, I want to show you a couple of different pieces I've already made to give you an idea of what you can do. This one is just a hard headband with a thin velvet ribbon in the neck. Consider using velvet since it doesn't untie as easily as for example a satin ribbon. Then I glued fake flowers directly to the headband. I saved a bit of stem so I could use them as a base for the yarn moss in the back. Oh, and I always add a couple of hair comb slides for extra security. This one weighs about as much as you can comfortably wear, about half a kilo. And with this kind of base, you wouldn't want to go much heavier anyway. The center of this piece is actually an old coat hanger that I screwed to the middle of the headband. The arches are made of fake lily flower stems. Think twice before you throw anything away, it might be perfect for a headpiece project. This one is more of a crown structure. I started out with a metal wire base that I covered with thin cardboard paper and sprayed it black. I chose to make an opening in the back for size adjustment. The little bugs and insects are made of polymer clay that is painted with loose eyeshadow before baked so the eyeshadow sticks to it. The hair comb slides are best put to the sides. Now onwards to the materials and tools. As I mentioned, hard headbands are great to use as a base, preferably covered in fabric so glue sticks better to it. Two or two and a half centimeter wide elastic band, hair comb slides that preferably are made of metal and are not too thick. We will put everything together with hot glue, so bunker up. Foam material for securing barbecue sticks and various. Metal wire can also come in handy. Tools. Pliers, scissors, marker pen, spray paint, measuring tape, exacto knife, etc. Design elements. Well, everything that doesn't have too much weight to it. Your headpiece needs to be comfortable on your head if you're going to be able to wear it for a long event. So feathers, fake flowers, ribbons, beads, rhinestones and even wooden barbecue sticks are great things to use. I'll show you how. We want to start out with getting a good idea of how this thing will look and what design elements we want to use. That way we know what the base needs to look like. I think I want the sunflowers to be the center of attention and I'm going to use barbecue sticks as sun rays. And through this I got the idea to make everything feel like a sunny day in the countryside. If you haven't invested in a styrofoam head yet, I suggest you do, but anything that you can put the headband on will work as well. Start by hot gluing the elastic band to one of the ends of the headband. You should always apply a generous amount when you're hot gluing. Put the headband on and measure out a comfortable tension before you cut the elastic band. Don't forget to add a couple of centimeters for the overlap where you glue it. Hello! Next up, attaching the hair comb slides. Now you want to try to imagine if the piece will be front or back heavy and then face the teeth of the comb the same way. If you have a wider comb, you want to cut it in half and divide it to each side of where your temples will be. Try it in the mirror and then do a safety measure. At the same time, measure out the center. It's very important to always check where the center is when you start building your design. And here it's also better to use too much hot glue than too little. Padding the inside could be a good idea if the base so far feels uncomfortable. I used some cotton wool and a piece of thin leather on top, attached with textile glue. Now when we have our base, it's time to start with our design. I've sprayed a bunch of barbecue sticks and gold paint, and now I want to measure out how tall and wide I want them to be. Perfect! Lay out your sticks in your desired pattern. Using our foam, we can create a stable base for our sun rays. 
To make sure they stay in place, I hot glue them between two pieces of foam. If you want your raised point straight up, you can put your headband on and check the angle before you start gluing them in place. I cut out a small wedge in foam to make the whole structure tilt the right way. Then I hot glue all the rays in place. Salvaging the cut off pieces from the rays, I made some additional designing. Since I know I'm going to put a lot of flowers in the back, I glued on an extra piece of foam as a base. Time for some fake shrubbery! With a dust of gold to create some depth. Death. This is a water-based acrylic paint and works well to spray indoors. I also decided to cover the grey foam and a bit of the base. Once the spray paint has dried, I use long pins to pin everything in place so I can check if I'm satisfied with my design before I glue everything in place. Shrubbery looks good! I also took a picture to remember how it should look. From here, I start freebasing with adding feathers, crystals, more flowers and other things I think would add to the countryside vibe. Now that's it for today, ladies and gents. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you feel inspired to get going on one of these yourself. There will be a list of what we've used, tools and materials and a few links down below in the description box. And comment please if you have any questions, love notes or whatever, whatever you want. Uh, and don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe. We want to see more of you, if you want to see more of us. So until then, bye.